The OBS virtual camera lets you send any video from OBS into TikTok Live Studio. And at the end of the video, I'll also show you how to send audio from OBS to Live Studio. Just quickly, why might you want to do this? Well, firstly, as you saw, my stream was already set up in OBS. So it would mean I don't have to set my stream up again in Live Studio. Your camera is locked to one place on Windows, so I can use my camera in multiple places with the virtual cam. That includes, of course, Live Studio. Of course, you cannot multi-stream with TikTok Live Studio as you're just stuck with TikTok. So I like to multi-stream using OBS. And OBS, of course, has far more features than Live Studio, such as a lot of different filters. If you've used Live Studio before, you've probably encountered a bug. So you can just use the virtual cam to send the relevant OBS feature into Live Studio so it's not bugged. And of course, there's probably other use cases as well. Your imagination is the limit here. OBS is quite powerful. What we're actually going to start by doing is make sure you close both OBS and then close Live Studio as well. If you don't already have it, download OBS. I'll put it in the description. Don't open it yet. And you need OBS closed because you need to also install Atom Vertical, which is in the description. And for multi-streaming on the same website, I would recommend Atom Multi-Stream for free multi-streaming. So run both the Atom Vertical and Multi-Stream installers. And now it's time to open OBS. So before we open OBS, let's talk about a key reason I got to 235,000 subs on this shorts channel, and that was using captions. Today's sponsor, Riverside, which is in the description, lets you add automated captions easily. So I'm literally just gonna show you this in real time. I'm gonna edit down a recent landscape stream into a vertical clip with captions. So firstly, I just uploaded it. You can also just record in Riverside, and I'm just gonna edit the recording. At the top, I'm gonna change it into 9 by 16. I'm going to hover on the left and find a section that I want. Looks like joining TikTok agencies is a good section to make a clip from. And then I'm just going to highlight the text I want to make a clip with. So it looks like from here and somewhere down to here would be a good clip. So I'll press the three dots and I'll create a new edit only with this. I'm just going to click on these dots to remove all the pauses as well. Pretty simple. I'll change the cropping so that my face is actually in and I'll zoom it in a little bit. And here comes the captions. I just click on captions on the right, find some captions that I like and place the captions wherever I want. And of course, you can play through the video to see what it looks like. And of course, if the captions are wrong, you can just edit them. Finally, of course, I just export the video. So there's a discount for Riverside in the description. And thank you, Riverside, for sponsoring this video. So as I said, now it's time to open OBS. It is very important every time you go live that you open OBS first before Live Studio. That's because the first application you open will capture your camera. Now I'm opening Live Studio as well. And we like to follow best practices. So the first thing I'm going to recommend you do on Live Studio is use dual layout. It's not required, but I think it's great for your viewers to have a choice between portrait and landscape. So let's minimize that and go back to OBS for now. And let's just make sure OBS is set up properly to begin with. So of course, you probably have a blank OBS if you're just starting out. So let's start by setting up some new settings and scenes. So to start with, I'll click on profile and I'll click on new. Make sure the auto config wizard box is checked. I've named mine virtual cam profile. You name it, whatever you want and press OK. I'll optimize it for streaming with recording secondary. We'll set it to 1920 by 1080. This is the landscape canvas. And by the way, we'll enable a virtual canvas if you can't see it in a second. Set it to 60 FPS and press next. If you're planning to multi-stream, choose the service that you're gonna multi-stream with. You can, of course, add more with A to Multi. If you're not planning to multi-stream, just choose custom. Regardless, uncheck the estimate bitrate. Just set the bitrate between six and 8,000. I'll set it to 6,000. Again, if you're not planning to multi-stream, just type anything into the two boxes so you can get to the next page and press next. And then OBS has just configured some great settings for us. So I'll press apply. Let's click on scene collection and click on new now. And same name, virtual cam scenes instead of profile and press OK. And now you should have a black canvas. Let's now make sure that you can see the Atom Multi and Atom Vertical. So click on Docs and check Vertical Scenes, Vertical Sources, Vertical and Atom Multi Stream. And if it's popped out like this, you can just drag it into place and place all the different docs and resize them as you wish. Now let's just set up a basic live stream in both landscape and vertical that we can send to Live Studio. We'll follow best practices here. And of course, I'll basically just do the bare minimum. You can feel free to customize it the way you want. So we'll add the audio in a second, but we'll start with the scene on the left here and I'll rename this. 
And I call it something like gameplay scene or screen sharing or anything like that. Under these sources, I'll click the plus button. I'll choose display capture, name it whatever you want. I'll name mine monitor two, and I'll find the correct monitor. We'll capture the cursor and we'll press okay. If you need to drag it around, you can click on it to move it around. If you need to resize it, just drag the squares in the corner. If you need to crop, hold alt and drag one of the squares and then lock it into place when you're happy with it. And then let's add the same thing on vertical on the right. So I'll click the plus button, choose display capture, and you can see it's already on the list. So here's the monitor. Let's do the bare minimum for a vertical stream. So let's do the bottom two thirds is my monitor and the top third will just be my webcam. So I'm gonna right click transform and center horizontally to center it perfectly and lock it into place again. Now, as I said, we need to add the webcam. So press the plus button and choose video capture device. I've just chosen the name of my webcam and I'll press OK. And then you need to find it from the list. It's already automatically chosen mine. I'm going to go custom resolution. It often doesn't pick the correct settings. So for me, I have 4K, which is 2160 here. 1920 by 1080 is probably most people's camera. So just choose the highest available resolution, the highest FPS. If you have a preferred video format, then choose that. This video format looks good. All the other settings are fine, so I'll press OK. For me, because it's in 4K, I'm going to transform and fit the screen but of course i want to shrink it down because this is just for the corner of the screen because this is my gameplay scene and i'm going to place it in the middle on the left hand side i'm also going to right click transform and i'm going to center it vertically so it's perfectly centered and i'll just lock it into place and once again i'll do the same thing on the vertical one once again it's way too big i'll transform fit to screen then i'll just drag it at the top into place like that and lock it when i'm happy and i also strongly recommend tickfinity on the actions and events page just make sure you add screen one i'll put my full guide in the description but basically click the plus button choose browser i've named it tickfinity screen one i'll paste the link in i'll shut it down when not visible i'll press ok and this is where the tickfinity alerts will appear so if we want it in the center of the screen i'll just transform it to the center of the screen and likewise i will add it into the vertical mode and i once again transform and center that to the screen as well and i'll lock them in place once again i'll put my full tickfinity guide in the description that just gives you alerts for new follows subs gifts likes etc and of course we need audio now so the audio mixer is shared between both i'll click on settings i'll click on audio desktop audio this is usually your headset so hyperx cloud 2 wireless for me and the hyperx quadcast is my microphone don't need to change any of the settings there but what we do need to change is a filter for our microphone so i'll click the three dots choose filters press the plus button choose noise suppression and press ok and you can use rn noise or if your room is really noisy you might want the nvidia removal and room echo removal option but rn noise is fine for most people that's just going to remove background noise from things like ac and fans and if you ever want to mute either of them, you can just press this button to mute, for example, desktop audio or microphone. Right, so now we have OBS set up. We, of course, want to send it to Live Studio. But first, we have to configure the virtual camera to send both landscape and portrait into Live Studio. If you just want to send landscape, just press start virtual camera. But again, if you want to follow the latest best practices for live streaming, I strongly recommend you send both. So we'll click on the settings cog on the vertical settings and underneath the virtual camera, just make sure both is selected here. If you want, you can copy these other settings as well. They're not too relevant just for sending things to live studio. And just for completeness, here's my streaming settings and here is my recording settings. Anyway, make sure you press OK to save those settings. And now our virtual cam is ready to be sent to Live Studio. So once again, as a reminder, make sure you always open OBS first. And just quickly, I'll press this settings cog if you want to see the settings. Anyway, let's click this button here, the orange one, which says vertical virtual camera. It does enable both cameras, actually. It enables the landscape one, too. And then you want your Live Studio looking like this. So how do you do that? Firstly, press add scene in the bottom left, and I'm just gonna choose the blank option and press add. And I'm gonna rename it, so right click rename. I've named it OBS Virtual Cam. And underneath portrait source, I'll click add source and I'll choose camera and press add. I have a ton of cameras on this list, so you have to find the OBS Virtual Camera. You've probably got less cameras, which is a good thing. Uh, 3000 by 1920, 60 FPS. This video format looks fine. Basically all the default settings look fine here, so I'll press add source. And of course, this might now look confusing. So let's start with portrait. I'm just going to click on it and I'm just going to drag it down because again, it centers both canvases. 
So luckily, just by dragging it down, I now have the correct portrait canvas. So I'll now lock that into place. And now we can play around with the landscape one. So firstly, I'll click this fill screen button. Of course, I've got both canvases here. So there's a few ways to do this. What I can do is I can drag the square on the side and keep increasing the size until I just have landscape. And then I just drag down until it's filled the whole of the landscape canvas. But you can see there's a problem. It's gone a bit strange. It's flipped it. So luckily, there is a flip horizontally option. So I have to actually choose that on both. That's some strange bug. And then just resize it again in landscape so it's in the correct place. I lock that into place and I'm going to have to flip it also here in portrait as well. So I've clicked on it and I'll press the flip button. And then again, I'm just going to drag all the way to the right so that portrait is looking good and I'll lock it into place again. Now, just quickly, if you're looking to increase your income as a live streamer or a content creator, then that's what I made the Live Success Academy for. There's a ton of useful video lessons and text posts and group calls. You can just read the about page and you can try it out for free. I'll put it in the description. If you don't want to send the OBS sound to Live Studio, we're now going to add our desktop audio and desktop mic. So you can see I've done that already. There's also a sneak peek here of sending the OBS audio to Live Studio. Anyway, underneath audio, press the add button if you didn't already, and then just make sure you have the correct headset added. That looks fine to me, so I'll save it. And of course, same for your microphone, but make sure noise suppression is enabled, and I'll just set it on high and save that too. And those are the only two audio sources you need added if you're not going to send OBS audio to Live Studio. So you're probably now ready to go live. So just hit the go live button. But if you do want audio, keep watching. And the first thing we need is a virtual audio device. I'll put this page in the description. Obviously download the Windows one. And if you have the Windows extractor, right click extract all. If you have WinRAR, you don't need it, but I'll put it in the description, right click, and you can choose one of the options. I'm going to extract it into its own file. And I'll open the file and I'll run the 64EXE one. And I'll just press install driver. And I've got this pop-up saying successful, reboot the system. So go ahead and do that. And when you're back, make sure you open OBS first, followed by Live Studio and get that virtual cam started again. And here inside OBS, here's how we can send specific different bits of audio into Live Studio. Firstly, click onto settings, click into audio, monitoring device is cable input, VB audio virtual cable, and then just press OK. And then you'll see the audio mixer at the bottom. You just find the audio that you want to send to Live Studio. Click the three dots, advanced audio properties. For me, it's the mic and the audio monitoring is monitor only if you don't want to hear it yourself. If you want to hear it yourself, monitor and output. So I'll choose monitor only and I'll press close. And here in Live Studio, in this example, I've just sent my mic from OBS into Live Studio. For example, you might want one of the mic filters that OBS has that Live Studio doesn't have. So what you'll first do is click the settings cog and make sure that your microphone is deleted in Live Studio and then press add. And we're gonna add a microphone that is named Cable Output VB Audio Virtual Cable. So you can see I've already got it added. You don't need any of the options because all of these sound options are done inside OBS. So you just press save. And again, you can confirm it's working. You can see my microphone is going up and down. Let's do the same for the desktop audio just to show what you have to do for this. So once again, advanced audio properties, monitor only or monitor and output, play around with those, press close. Now, if I just play an error sound and I do and I stop speaking, you can see the microphone bar moved up there. So regardless of what audio you're adding, you just have to add this cable output as a microphone. So it might be confusing, even if it's not a microphone, whatever audio it is, just have cable output added as the microphone on Live Studio. So as I said earlier, your imagination really is the limit here. Just quickly, if we look at filters, you can see how many different filters there is on OBS compared to Live Studio. That's one reason why people want to use the virtual cam. I can't possibly cover every single OBS filter in this video, but of course, there's a ton of useful OBS tutorials elsewhere on on YouTube if you want to find specific filters for OBS. And as you can see on the left here, we actually installed Atom Multistream as well. I'll put my video for that on the screen. But to be honest, setting up the virtual cam, you basically almost completely set up Atom Multistream. You just need to add your live streaming platforms with it.